Hello from the little window on your screen. I'm Adam Turtletow from the Healthcare Compliance Association here to give you a preview of what's coming at the 2013 Compliance Institute, which will take place April 21st through 24th at the Gaylord National Harbor just outside of Washington, D.C. Joining me today in the big window are two of our general session speakers, Susan and Peter Glazer. They'll be speaking Monday morning, April 22nd, and their session is Be Quiet, Be Heard, The Paradox of Persuasion. Susan, Peter, can you give our members a little bit of background about yourselves? Absolutely. I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, Susan, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we met at Penn State University where we got our doctorates in communication. We now live in Eugene, Oregon, because in 1975, our first faculty position turned out to be the University of Oregon, and we took one look at this wonderful state and said, we will do whatever it takes to never have to leave, and that was in 1975. That's great. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be focusing on at the Compliance Institute? Absolutely. Our research and our lecturing and consulting over the last 35 years has really focused on conflict and productivity. And we have been developing skills and models that healthcare professionals can use to transform conflict into solve problems, strengthen relationships, and deepen trust. For your conference, we're going to focus specifically on some of the models that healthcare compliance officers can use in those efforts. Because in our review of events, these people are truly at the vanguard yeah. of healthcare change. Mm. And it's up to them to hold the line, to, to, to jump the hurdles that need to be to keep people focused on what needs to be done. So whether it be interacting with physicians who, let's say, are admitting patients but do not have a complete contract, whether it be interacting with nurses who are upset that they have to turn off their computer when they run in to take care of a patient. Or a physician recruiter who's cutting deals with physicians that can easily be construed as calculating compensation pay for referrals, uh, dealing with the CEO. Um, the pushback that they get seems to be so consistent and rigorous, yeah. and the tools we have are designed precisely for people who are receiving that level of pushback. Mm. Sounds terrific. Now, you've done a lot of work in healthcare before, is that correct? Absolutely. We've been working with healthcare since the early 90s in many, many different capacities. We've worked with hospitals and healthcare systems, we've worked with insurance, we've worked with pharmaceuticals. In the end, when we're working with healthcare, it is so clear to us that conflict is just part of the experience. And it's because there's so many people who are committed to making a difference, who have different perspectives on how that should be done and what that should be. But the, the bottom line seems to be being able to reach consensus from divergent points of view, being able to motivate people who are in resistance, mm. especially for your population, that's what needs to happen. Sounds great. I understand you guys are about to go off on a great trip before you come see us. Yep. We're heading to New Zealand. We have a very wonderful, robust practice there, and it's really fun to get to travel to New Zealand. And it's our 10th season, and we get out of this miserable, cold, rainy Oregon weather. <laughs> and into the summer. Yes. Great. Sounds terrific, and we look forward to seeing you in April at the Compliance Institute. And thank you all for, thank you both for joining us, and thank all of you who took the time to listen in today. Thanks, and Adam. we're really looking forward to Absolutely. it, too. Absolutely.